a Conservative MP, veteran Conservative MP, Sir Peter Bottomley, who's spoken about the grim struggle of living on an MP's salary. Just to remind you, an MP's paid 81,932 quid a year. His comments yesterday came, of course, on the same day that universal credit was cut for the most vulnerable, living in poverty. And it's not gone down well, it must be said, on social media. The Commons Father of the House, who is 77 and represents Worthing West, said that many of his colleagues were finding the situation desperately difficult. And he believes that MPs should be paid the same amount as GPs, whose average salary in England is uh, £100,000, roughly. And the average UK wage is £31,461. So is it that grim? Is it that difficult? Is it desperately difficult? Well, I speak to Rebecca Cooper. She's a Labour councillor for Worthing, but she ran against Peter Bottomley in 2019. Uh, Rebecca, I assume you're pretty furious at these remarks. Yeah, you assume right. Good morning. I think these remarks are incredibly inappropriate. Um, you've just mentioned that the average UK salary is £31,000. But we also need to bear in mind those people who are earning far less than that. Uh, those people who are claiming universal credit and are seeing their universal credit uplift being taken away this week. We need to talk about the 3.1 million children who are in those households who are claiming universal credit and listening to somebody like Sir Peter Bottomley say that £81,000 is not sufficient to live on is frankly insulting to those people. And I really hope that he gives that due thought and particularly to the people in his constituency who are really struggling now, will not appreciate being represented by their MP in that way. To play slightly devil's advocate here, I mean, we we know, let's say, for example, uh, footballers often earn uh, millions of pounds a a year. There are lots of other people who earn significantly higher salaries, let's be honest, than MPs, whether they be doctors or uh, bankers or lawyers. And, And isn't that the point? You know, MPs are, there's only 650 of them. They're meant to represent us around the country. And frankly, compared to the peer group, as they would like to see it, they're not actually terribly well paid. Well, I think you're talking about lots of different arguments there. If you're talking about economic inequality and unfairness and the fact that uh, some people earn a ridiculous amount of money in the top 1% or the 0.1% actually of our country, yes, I think there's an argument about economic unfairness and redistribution of resources and making sure that everybody has uh, enough uh, financial resources and other resources to be able to live a good uh, life and the life that they want to lead. That's a different argument to what Peter's saying, which is £81,000 is very difficult to live on. He's actually used the word grim. I mean, I just think that's frankly insulting. I mean, I have Uh, some sympathy with the fact that MPs in general work very hard, and that's fine. I understand that. But the argument to say that £81,000 is not sufficient to live on is simply insulting. And for the the people who are literally struggling to feed their children or heat their houses this week, this winter, that is simply not an argument that any MP should be making at all. If he wants to talk about economic inequality and redistributing resources, which I would be surprised as a Conservative father of a house, I would be delighted to have that conversation with him. But I don't think calling £81,000 a grim salary is any way to start that conversation at all. And I would like him to retract those comments. Uh, um, uh, yeah, I, I suspect he probably won't. I mean, he's the father of the house. He's been around in politics for a long time, but he does have a bit of a, a tendency to put his foot in it sometimes. Um, but, but the public quite like him. They, they have kept re-electing him in Worthing for quite a long time. They do. That is true. Um, And what I would say is, I don't know if you know, but down here, Worthing is changing rapidly. It looks like we might actually take the council next year for the first time ever. Um, The demographics are changing and also people are starting to realise that more of the same conservative rhetoric and uh, looking after your own is not something that generally our communities down here appreciate. For a long time now, Peter and the other Conservatives here have simply not listened to our local communities about the issues that are important to them. And I say that across the board. So I say that for people who are really struggling to feed their families and also for people who have come down here to retire. The uh, Peter is notable by his absence and our local Conservative administration has simply not listened to our communities. So Things are changing down here politically. And I also hope that, you know, people will understand that the Labour Party is here for more than just votes. We're here all year round and we're here to serve our communities. And I think people like Peter, really, their time is up and it's it's time for them to move on. 
Okay. Uh, really appreciate your thoughts, uh, Rebecca, this morning. Thank you very much indeed for your time. Rebecca Cooper Thank there. You.